This video is part of Firm Theory. In it, I will continue the discussion of production by explaining the elasticity of substitution. The curvature of an isoquant indicates how easily a firm can substitute between inputs in the production process. Recall from the production video that for an isoquant with no curvature, or a linear downward sloping isoquant, input substitutability is as high as it can get. As the isoquant gets curvier, becoming L-shaped, input substitutability decreases. So here for isoquant Q1, input substitutability is as high as it can be. For isoquant Q2, it's as low as it can be. And for isoquant Q3, it's somewhere in between those two extremes. Again, the curvature of an isoquant reflects the substitutability of inputs. The elasticity of substitution measures this curvature as well as input substitutability. Like any elasticity, elasticity of substitution is the percentage change in one thing divided by the percentage change in another. Here it's the percentage change in the capital to labor ratio for a given percentage change in the MRTS. To understand what this formula means, consider these two isoquants. Isoquant Q1 is relatively flat compared to isoquant Q2, which is relatively curvy. For both, let's think about moving along the isoquant, starting at this point here, where the isoquants are tangent to each other, in order to force a 1% change in the MRTS. Because isoquant Q1 is flatter, to get a 1% change in slope, we're gonna have to move further along this isoquant then we have to move along isoquant Q2 since it's curvier. Again, in moving from A to B1, there's a 1% change in slope. And in moving from A to B2, there's also a 1% change in slope. Because isoquant Q1 is flatter, we had to move further along to the right to get that 1% change. Then we had to move along isoquant Q2. For this 1% change in the MRTS, let's see how the ratio of capital to labor responds. From A to B along the red isoquant Q1, the capital to labor ratio changes by a higher percentage than it changes from A to B along isoquant Q2. Because the percentage change in the MRTS is the same, but isoquant Q1 has a larger percentage change in the capital to labor ratio, the elasticity of substitution is bigger for isoquant Q1. When there's a small percentage change in the MRTS, that leads to a larger percentage change in the capital to labor ratio, the isoquants are relatively flat and the elasticity of substitution is relatively big. Remember the extreme of perfect substitutes. Here the isoquant is as flat as it can get because it's linear, and input substitutability is as high as it can be. When a small percentage change in the MRTS leads to a small change in the capital to labor ratio, now the isoquant is more curvy than before, and the elasticity of substitution is relatively small. Again, at the extreme of fixed proportion inputs, the isoquant is as curvy as it can be, and the elasticity of substitution measuring input substitutability is as low as it can be.